YouTube, what's going on? It's outside Juba, but inside right now. It's gonna be a little quick video. I gotta get ready to head to the grind. I'm gonna come back later though. Um, you know today's the big day, the NBA draft and all that. You know it's gonna be some more trades. So you know I'm definitely gonna be, you know, <laughs> tuned in and all that. And I'll definitely give you my uh, review with the draft and any more trades that's gonna come up later on tonight. But um, a major trade happened yesterday that kind of shocked me. Um, Marcus Smart to the Grizzlies uh, and um, KP to the Celtics and who else um, Marcus no um, is it Marcus Morris or Markeith Morris from the Clippers he went to the Wizards now let's start with Marcus Smart going to the Grizzlies that's a good trade that was a steal um they got a back. They got a back-to-back -back two defensive of the year players. This year it was um, Jaron Jackson. Last year it was Marcus Smart. So that was a good. That was a good pickup by uh, Memphis. I know they had a trade. Uh, what's his name? Um, Tyrus. Uh, what's his name? Tyrus. What's his name? Um, oh, that was my quarters. Yeah, uh, Tyrus Jones they had to trade him. I like I like Ty Jones. Yo. He's he's a good point guard. He's a good point guard. I think he could start at any team. Um, me personally, if I'm him, I would I would ask uh, the Wizards to waive me so he could go to a team and really get some burn or become a starter because CP3 is there. He's not. I mean, CP3. He's getting. He's getting up there in age. But if I was him, I would be like, "Yo, just release me. Let me go to a team." You know, that's just my personal opinion. But getting back with Marcus Smart, um, Memphis. That's that. That's a good pickup. That's a very, very good pickup. He could be that locker room veteran. Um, you got him. You got Steve Adams. You got. You know, a couple dudes that's pushing 30. And, um, you know, they could be vocal leaders. And it could really help John Morant. You understand what I'm saying? You know? So, yeah. But, um, shout out. Shout out to Grizzlies for pulling that off. And as far as uh, KP going to um, Boston, KP is beginning to be a journeyman. First it was the Knicks, Dallas, Wizards, now Boston. I thought he was going to stay with the Wizards. I mean, you know, he had a he had a good full, what, he played with what, 70 odd games <laughs> in one season. He was doing his thing in the Wizards. So by him going to Boston, um, he'll be, you know, they power forward, stretch four. You know, that motherfucker, you know, he liked to shoot threes and shit. So this is this is an interesting move. I'm gonna see how this thing panned out. I'm gonna see how it works. Um, they still got Mal Malcolm Brogdon. Uh, I was surprised that they was looking to trade him. You know the Clippers turned that down due to Brogdon injury history. You know what I'm saying? So you know I looked at it. It kind of worked out for. Um, Kind of worked out for uh, Boston, if you ask me personally. And I think by Marcus Smart leaving Boston, I mean, Marcus Smart did, what, nine years with them? You know, nine years, went to the finals, went to the Eastern Conference Finals a couple times. You know, he know what it takes. He know what it takes. He's a vet, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, I think this would give... Uh, Pritchard, Richard Pritchard, some minutes, some minutes off the bench now, since Marcus Smart is not there. Um, I think for next season, I will personally start Mal Malcolm Brogdon as a starting point guard. And you have Jalen Brown at the two. Um, this dude, uh, what's his name? Um, Tatum at the three, KP at the four, and you got Williams. At the five, and then your rotation will be, you know, Pritchard. Um, what's that guy's name with the funny hair? White, Hoyford, and uh, heaven knows if Grant Williams still going to be there. He's a free agent. Uh, 
they were saying how since KP is there, it looks like Grant Williams may not, you know, due to, you know, contracts and money and all, they don't think Grant Williams will be back. So, and Grant Williams, he's more of a stretch four, you know, undersized big. Um, so, they may have to, you know, look at maybe another another stretch four, another, you know, maybe pick pick up a stretch four in, in the draft, you know what I'm saying? Got maybe 6'8", six, 6'9", six, who could play in and out, you know, out in. So, we'll see how that go. Um, I think Grant Williams is a good, me personally, I think he's kind of a glue guy for Boston. I think it's a, it's a right situation. I think if they you know, try to work with him, give him a little two, three year contract, you know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But um the winner the winner of this uh the winner of this of this trade was definitely Memphis. Um as far as the Wizards is concerned they just the Wizards, the Wizards. <laughs> Kyle Kuzma is a free agent. Um, if I'm Kyle Kuzma, I would, I mean, yeah, you got CP3 and all, um, KP is out, but if I'm Kyle Kuzma, I mean, he could, he could go, he could go to any team, a team, you know, go to any team and start, you know what I'm saying, um, or unless if he wants to stay and be like, yo, just build a team around me, let me be that guy, you know, I think... I think personally, I think Kyle Kuzma should stay where he at. He should really stay where he at. I think he finally got a spot where, you know, he could be that dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just me personally. And you got CP3. Y'all can say whatever y'all want, but CP3 alone could take a team to the playoffs. You see what he did with OKC. Yeah, yeah, they got Shea Gilchrist. Um... Shout out to Shea, you know, he doing his thing, he's on the come up, but just him alone, he could take he could take a team to the playoffs. So if I'm Kyle Kuzma, I would, you know, try to stay, try to sign a little three year deal. You know, stay there for an extra couple of years and if things don't work out, by your third year you got option out and go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so that's just my take on the trade, man. Um yeah. That's what it is, but uh, KP man, we'll let's see, let's see, let's see if Boston will be a home for him. You know what I mean? Let's see, let's see if he could be somewhere for a good three, four years. You know, he's still he's still young, he's still in his prime. You know what I'm saying? So you know, let's see. But that's my take on it. It's outside you, but inside. Hit the like button, drop a comment. I talk back. Uh, subscribe to the channel and let me know what y'all think about the uh, trade with Marcus Smart, KP, and uh, Marcus Morris. All right, <sighs> I'm gonna throw this in there. Uh, the Knicks, the Knicks now is looking at Paul George. Um, I saw something on IG. This dude that I follow. Called Nick's Convo, that's his name. Um, he had he put up something in his story. Uh, you know, Paul George and a dude named Coffee, David Coffee, I think is his name, played for the Clippers, light skinned dude. He's a wing. He's a backup wing player. Um, I've seen him play. I've seen him play. He kick a ball. He could play a little power forward too. If you're playing small ball. He could play a little power forward. He's about six seven, but um, they had a uh, Toppin, Fournier, quickly, and Derrick Rose for PG and Coffee. I personally would keep quickly and throw in RJ Barrett in the mix. You understand what I'm saying? I would, to be honest with you, I would throw RJ Barrett, Toppin. Evan and Derek Rose for PG thirteen. Um Norman Powell Norman Powell and uh, the dude David Coffee. 
give me give me give me those three. Here's RJ. Here's here's RJ. Here's Toppin, Rose, and Fournier. That's who I would yeah. Yep. So you you know, you'll have um if, I mean if if that if that if it happens, my the Knicks would be definitely on, on on a good spot. You know, I would have um Brunson, Josh Hart. Um Brunson, Josh Hart, Paul George, who else? Um Randall and Mitchell. And then your rotation, you have quickly uh Norman Powell coffee and you have um Isaiah Hyenson. Um coffee, like I said, he's a wing, undersized four if you're playing small. I would still have to uh if I'm the Knicks, like if we get a draft, like I think I think we got a draft. I think we got uh maybe a late first round or a second round draft. If we get us if we get a if if we get somebody in the draft I would try to get like a stretch four. That's if that's if this Paul George deal goes down. I I would definitely try to get a stretch four in a draft. Somebody that's about six eight, six nine could play in and out, out in. Yeah, that's what I would do if I was the Knicks. But let's see, let's see. But yo, um, like I said, it's outside Jew. Let me go ahead out. I gotta make a move, make a difference, alright? But yo. Tonight I'll tune in. We're gonna talk some more basketball. Like I said, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, let me know what y'all think. I talk back. Please be respectful, and I'll holler. Just look.